I know I'm a little late, but I hope you all enjoyed your long weekend. Wait, am I allowed to say that? Or is that like a terrorist threat or some shit? Do, do I hate the troops now? According to the conservative outrage machine, Kamala Harris hates the troops and America and probably you too. All because she tweeted out, enjoy your long weekend before the Memorial Day weekend. She didn't show enough respect to the troops. People died for you to enjoy that weekend, lady. Well, by that logic, shouldn't we honor them by enjoying the long weekend? Or should we all spend the entire weekend at the cemetery listening to taps on repeat and crying into red, white, and blue tissues? I mean, are Republicans this desperate to find some kind of scandal? There's plenty of shit to criticize the Biden administration for. Kamala Harris was at Arlington National Cemetery on Memorial Day, by the way, but that's beside the point. She should have been posting military memes online all day like a real patriot. You know, like that meme I saw a million times over the weekend, the one that said, your day at the beach is brought to you by their day at the beach. And they showed modern Americans enjoying a lovely day at the beach, side by side with soldiers storming the beaches of Normandy on D-Day during World War II. All right, cool, I could dig that. But notice how it's always World War II in these memes, right? Because even those of us who are highly critical of the military industrial complex, can acknowledge that fighting and stopping the Nazis was vital to protecting our freedoms and saving lives and basically saving the fucking world because those were evil motherfuckers. And anyone who fought the Nazis deserves to be honored till the end of time. I honestly believe that. But the purpose of Memorial Day is to commemorate the military personnel who died during every American war. And can anyone honestly say that the wars we fought since World War II have made us safer or more free? The Vietnam War, that made us safer? That made us more free? Or did it just kill 60,000 Americans and even more Vietnamese? The Korean War, AKA the Forgotten War, because no one wants to talk about that shit? We massacred people. For what? Afghanistan? We're supposed to be finally leaving this year after 18 fucking years, 20 fucking years, 20 fucking years, and what the fuck did we accomplish? We went in there to get Bin Laden, he wasn't even there. The Taliban was controlling it when we invaded. They'll be controlling it when we leave. The only thing we got out of it were thousands of dead Americans and even more dead Afghanis. Oh, and an opium trade stronger than ever. Iraq, Syria, what the fuck was the purpose? Making us safer? Making the region safer? You think the Middle East is safer now? Are we safer now? But the sad, fucked up truth is that every soldier who's died in a war after World War II died for nothing. Or oil, at the very best, and look how that's working out. Can't even get cheap fucking gas. It's heartbreaking, really, because we're sold this lie, and young men and young women buy this lie, and they sign up to serve their country, and maybe they just sign up for the free education and healthcare, or maybe they just signed up to avoid jail, but they sign up with the knowledge that they might die. And they do so because from a very young age, this idea is ingrained in us that the military is there to protect us and protect our freedoms. And serving your country in the military is one of the most honorable things you can do. And dying in war is the most honorable thing you can do. And we have to fucking believe that because if we don't, no one will sign up to be in the military anymore. And then the war machine will have nothing to keep it going. Well, actually, that's not even true anymore. We have drones, right? Our robotic heroes. When are we going to have a day to honor all the fallen drones? I salute you, Predator Drone number 37492.